this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in this video, I would like to explain the difference between pages and sub pages in Microsoft Loop. So I actually already explained kind of what the pages are in Microsoft Loop in uh, one of the previous you know videos, but essentially PA pages are um, you know think of it as almost like a you know canvas. Um, uh, the way you uh, add, uh, you know, various uh, content types of content, like um, let's say, you know, text, uh, images, uh, loop uh, elements, you know, components, and so on. So, um, you know, we obviously can create uh, different pages uh, within um, Microsoft Loop Workspace. Uh, for example, let's say, you know, this is the knowledge base, you know, workspace. This is where I'm trying to organize a knowledge base uh, of some sort for my organization. And of course, we can create, you know, different pages, right? We can create different pages uh, within that same, um, you know, workspace. But we can also create, let me actually, you know, delete this uh, one for now. We can also create um, sub pages as well. And what are sub pages? It's pretty much a way to build a hierarchy of pages. So uh, I am a big advocate of kind of a flat, you know, hierarchy, just easy to understand. That's essentially what we have in SharePoint, right? We in SharePoint we have a site, and then we have pages inside of that site, and all, all the pages, you know, uh, pretty much reside on the same level. With uh, Microsoft Loop, we can actually build a visual hierarchy of pages. And the way to do it, you pretty much create sub pages. So uh, just to demonstrate this, again, I have a workspace, loop workspace called knowledge base. Uh, and I have one page in here that I called human resources. So that's where we will organize uh, some, you know, obviously, you know, content for HR. Um, but, um, um, you know, let's say, you know, for example, we have a bunch of those uh, other pages, all right? So there will be one for IT and, you know, there will be one maybe for, uh, you know, finance and so on, right? That's kind of the idea here. But within this HR, um, you know, page, I also want to add some content related to, you know, different HR information like onboarding and benefits and so on. So let's use the, uh, or, you know, essentially on, uh, I guess, benefits uh, example. Um, so I want benefits. I don't want to create another page for benefits, right? I want it to be residing on the HR. Uh, so don't click this little plus sign. Instead, navigate to HR, you know, to that main page and three dots. And look at this. The first option is new sub page. So do that. And you see how it uh, almost creates this accordion style kind of hierarchy. Uh, this sub page that we created uh, would be residing uh, physically under HR. So let's call it uh, benefits. All right, just like that. Look at this. Um, and you can, of course, create additional sub pages, but you can also create sub pages under sub pages. So for example, let's say, you know, we want to break down all this uh, information about benefits into different types of benefits. So we're going to create another sub page under benefits now called medical. All right. And so on. I hopefully you get the idea. Look at this hierarchy we have already. And then, you know, medical, we want to create another page called insurance, right? So medical would be broken down into all these different uh, sub pages uh, as well. And a very, very important, you can only build. So you see, I'm building this hierarchy and you can kind of collapse and expand it as necessary. But very, very important to note, you can only build up to five levels of sub pages. I think this is the last one I will get. Uh, I think it's five, including the main page. Let's find out. So I'm going to, you know, uh, let's say I want to have a page for each insurance agency over there. And finally, look at this. Uh, I am on the fifth level right now and no more sub pages. You see, I can no longer create any additional, uh, you know, levels, I guess. So five total. 
All right, it's five uh, total. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty. These are pretty much um, you know pages and sub pages. Um, essentially, everything is still searchable. There is no, really no difference uh, on how they behave. It's really just um, you know for visual, I guess, representation, right? So you can easily navigate and you know pretend you have all these different you know kind of hierarchies. Um, of pages in your uh, workspace, and it's a nice way for users to kind of understand the hierarchy uh, and easily navigate uh, to um, the desired, uh, you know, choice. So uh, that's all I really wanted to uh, cover in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.